Hey everyone, Pastor Craig here, and this is Devotions with the Pastor, where you just kind of go on a journey uh, with my own personal devotional life. And I've been in Luke for a while, and I do want to pick up there today. I want to take us to Luke chapter 8, uh, or 18, I'm sorry, Luke chapter 18, uh, and read a parable to you that, that, um, that that's familiar, I think, if you're very familiar with the Bible. Um, and this time around, I, I noticed something in it I hadn't quite ever noticed before that kind of changed my understanding of it. It's, it's the parable of the persistent widow. Uh, so let me read it to you and then we'll talk about it. It says, uh, this is Jesus, and he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said, in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor, per nor respected man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him saying, Give me justice against my adversary. For, while he, for a while he refused. But afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor respect man. Okay, so this is an unbeliever. Yet because this woman keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she will not beat me down with her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says. And, he, and will not God give justice to his elect who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them re, uh, speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Um, and I, I think for me, I've always listened pretty strongly to that first part where it says, the, the point of this parable is to remember to keep praying even when you haven't got yet what you want. But the thing that kind of hit me in the face uh, that I hadn't quite got before was that the thing the woman was seeking was justice. In fact, the word justice appears over and over and over again uh, in this passage, including the very end where Jesus says he will give her justice. Uh, and, and so the thought occurred to me that one of the things God's really concerned about is justice. This isn't just your average run-of-the-mill prayer here. You know, give me this, give me that, give me these other things. This is something where this woman is experiencing an injustice. And she's a widow, and they were very vulnerable in Jesus' time. And so one of the things this parable says is that he will answer the prayers of those that are seeking injustice. We know that's an important. He uses that exact wordy, words. And... Um, and so it just reminds me that one of the things that followers of Jesus are concerned about is justice. And not just justice for ourselves, but justice for others, for the weak, for the poor, for those that don't have power. That one of the things we should be doing in our prayer life is praying for justice, praying against injustice. And we live in a, in a really great society compared to most people. We really, really do. Uh, but there is still a lot of injustice in our world. And so the challenge to me, and I hope the challenge to you is, are you praying against injustice? Are, are there unjust, unjust things where you, you lift that to the Lord and you just keep bugging him about it? So let's just keep bugging God about the injustices uh, in our world. And especially if, if you see people in your sphere of influence that are experiencing injustice, would you, would you pray for them? Would you bug God? He says he'll answer that prayer quickly. So that's my thought for today. Pray against injustice. Love you guys. Have a great day.